Hi everybody, back again with a, uh, an unplanned video. Um, I wasn't planning on doing any more videos this year, uh, but I've got a spare 20 minutes today, so I thought, why not? Um, and just to give you a little bit of info on what's coming up on my channel. So what I've done here is I've just been messing about a little bit. These are obviously Black Widow figures, apart from the one in blue, which is Maria Hill. And I've just changed the head sculpts over um, to give myself um, some Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's what I'm going to use, the Maz. And I'm going to um, display them with Nick Fury and obviously Maria Hill. I will get some more Maria Hill bodies and clothing later and change the head sculpt on that one as well. But what we have here, the first one is we have, I believe this is a Kumik head sculpt on a Black Widow body from the um, Avengers Assemble movie. This is the second release that they did. Next to her we have Maria Hill. This is the full Hot Toys version. Here we have the Winter Soldier version of Black Widow with a head play. It's either head play or very cool um, Mili Jovovich head sculpt. I'll give you a closer look at the head sculpts in a minute. Next to her we have the um, Age of Ultron Black Widow body with the... Um, it's a character in the game of Metal Gear Solid called Quiet, and that's the head sculpt. I believe that's a Kumik as well. And next to her we have another Kumik head sculpt on a Winter Soldier Black Widow body. So I'll put a pause in here, and we come back, we'll take a look at the first one. Okay, I'm having to zoom in on this because it's really, the light, when I zoom out, just makes the face look completely white and you can't see any detail um, as you can see the major problem with rooted hair is the hairs tend to go all over the place so it just needs a little bit of a comb through and then maybe a little bit of product on there just to put it back into place which I will do at some point um, but so I believe this is a Kumik head sculpt they do base them loosely on famous people um, I couldn't tell you who this one is they never really look like the person they're supposed to be based on. But it's a great looking head sculpt. Uh, really nice rooted hair. It does fall down quite nicely, but say so you get the odd strand that sticks up. Uh, but I will rectify that after this video. And I say this is on the um, Avengers Assemble body of Black Widow. Um... I've got to say, I've got quite a few Black Widows in my collection because she's one of my favourite Marvel female characters. And just to break it up a little bit in the details, I thought, how can I change them but still keep them in the collection? And the obvious answer was to put a new head sculpt on. So that's the first one. Uh, we'll now take a quick look at Maria Hill. Okay, here we have Maria Hill. Um, didn't have time really to do a video on this figure um, it is a nice looking figure but say so many people have done videos on these figures um, which brings me to the main reason I'm making this video really um, I'm not going to be doing as many videos anymore and I'm certainly not going to be doing videos on single figures uh, the main reason is when I get my figures through it's probably about four to four or five months after other people have got them and they've already done videos on them rather than do a 20 to 30 minute video on a figure that you've seen so many times before and it just gets a bit boring and monotonous seeing the same thing time and time again um, I'm not going to do that now what I'm going to do um, is do little collections which is what I said in the past I was going to do and I never really did it but this time I'm going to do it um, so you're going to see maybe 15 to 30 minute videos on small collections of figures. So instead of seeing one figure, you're going to see anything from two up to about four or five in a video. Um, so hopefully it will keep uh, people's attentions, attention span a bit better. But yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. So that's Maria Hill. Uh, say I'm planning on getting a few more of these bodies and swapping the head sculpt out. Next up we have, I believe this is, say, either a very cool 
or um, a head play head of Miljovovic on the Winter Soldier version of Black Widow's body. Um, this is a great, oh yeah, there's a hell of a lot of dust there. I will sort that out. Um, a great looking head sculpt on a great body. Um, these are still readily available on eBay. Um, they can be quite expensive, but if you wait, I mean, I think I paid about £25 for this head sculpt, but I have seen them going for about 50, 60 quid, which is ridiculous. Again, nice rooted hair on this one. Quite a good likeness to Miller. Wish Hot Toys would make a few more Millers, but uh, I can't see that happening. I'm sorry I'm rushing this video a bit, but I've got it on 4K and it only allows me 10 minutes of video time. And I just can't be bothered with all the editing and all that sort of thing, putting videos together. So that's that one. We'll now move on to the fourth one. Okay, this is the latest head sculpt that I've got. This is the character Quiet that people have used for kit bashing and making a quiet figure. Uh, from Metal Gear Solid. There's a nice little ponytail sort of look to it. Um, the skin tone and all that is a little bit darker than what you're seeing here on camera. Um, it's just the light that's making it a little lighter than what it is. And I say this is on the um, Age of Ultron Black Widow body. It's not a kit bash. You can't call putting a head sculpt on a on a body that's already fully made up a kit bash, but it's just you know an alternative look for the character. And in the comic books, obviously Black Widow is actually portrayed by a different person from time to time because uh, she can't keep going on all the time. So somebody else takes over the mantle, like you find with a lot of. Marvel characters and I think DC does the same but this is a great looking head sculpt and it's really cheap as well I'm, um, I think again I paid about 25 pounds British pounds for this head sculpt I uh, got it all the way from China on eBay but it's a really nice looking head sculpt and I'm really happy with the way that it looks on this body it just adds something a little bit different to figures that are already been made up so we'll now take a look at the final figure in this little collection. Okay, this is definitely um, a Kumik head sculpt. I know that this one was based on Natalie Portman, and you can tell by the little mole on her cheek there, which Natalie has. Um, doesn't really resemble her that much. There is a slight little hint of her in there, but not enough to say that it's definitely Natalie Portman. And this is on a Winter Soldier Black Widow body, which is a great looking um, Black Widow body actually, and I've still got the original base for that one. But again, nice rooted hair, again it does get a bit messy, um, which has to be expected, and you can just see at the back there, it does look a little bit unsightly, you can see the, the join there with the head so I need to move that hair down a little bit to cover that but you're not really going to see the back of the figure anyway in the detail but I thought it's quite a nice sort of head sculpt to put on this figure I mean as I have got probably about another eight or nine female head sculpts um, in a box that I want to use on figures and they will all be um, in a big collection so I'm going to use them all mainly for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. figures so yeah I mean the eye is a little bit wonky on that one but um, you don't really notice it so I'll put another pause in here and we take another one last look at all of them together so yeah there you go my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. female agents So it's just a little bit of fun, really, messing around with different head sculpts. I mean, the I tried the Scarlet Witch head sculpt on these bodies, and that looks superb as well. So I do have a spare Scarlet Witch head sculpt, which I might use later on. But yeah, just a little uh, bit of fun there. So hopefully um, I'll get a new video up in the new year. And 